Next question is from Samantha. Samantha says that she is currently on week three of Bikini Body and seeing awesome results already. Her question has to do with how dairy affects weight loss. Should I completely cut it out? The only dairy in my diet is coming from cheese right now to also help hit my fat macros and I'm a total cheese lover too. I'm wondering if it could be slowing my progress down. If so, I'm willing to cut it out. Thanks. My advice is don't cut it out just based on what you said. So everybody gets all crazy with the show prep diets and they live their life like every week is the week before show. No dairy, no sugar, no salt, no water. And it's, you can't live like that. So the number one question and the reason that Jesse's Girls started is because I always want to answer yes to can I do this forever? Do I want to do this forever? So if you are deciding to do something long-term, even short-term like 12 weeks or longer, cutting dairy out. Do you want to cut dairy out? Do you love dairy? If you love dairy, I love dairy. I love cheese. I guarantee you I love cheese more than you love cheese, Samantha. I am obsessed with cheese and I want it on everything. And I do put it on everything. I am not intolerant to it. I'm not lactose intolerant. I am not cutting fat because I'm eating cheese and dairy. So I know for a fact that I am not sensitive to dairy. Dairy is so interesting. So basically what it is, it's like a unicorn, okay? So you never know what it's doing to your body until it is causing you any sort of issues. That's basically how you can break dairy down. Some of you are intolerant to it, sensitive to it, allergic to it. Some of you aren't. Some of you are a little bit. Um, I am not, I don't classify myself as lactose intolerant whatsoever. I eat ice cream, I eat cheese, I eat yogurt. I love dairy, but large amounts of dairy will give me an upset stomach. A little bit of dairy, a coffee mug full of ice cream, a fourth of a cup of cheese on top of my meal, um, a three fourths of a cup of yogurt. None of that stuff does has any sort of effect on my fat loss, on how I feel, on my digestion, anything. So I include all of those things if it fits my macros. And that's it. If you are not intolerant to dairy, Samantha, and you work dairy and cheese and whatever kind of dairy you want into your macros and you feel great and you're losing fat, then keep on rocking with your melted cheese on top of stuff. It's not going to keep fat on. It's not going to make you fat. It doesn't work like that. The only reason dairy is going to affect you whatsoever is if you are sensitive to it, if you have an intolerance to dairy and you are eating it anyway, and you have inflammation and you have an upset stomach, those things are not good. And if you have any sort of inflammation or stomach bugs or anything like that, yes, you are going to slow down your results, especially inflammation. So if you're feeling yucky or if you are not seeing results as quickly as you uh, feel like you should be, my best advice would be to cut dairy out or cut back on dairy. And you have to be patient though. You have to give yourself, your body enough time to adapt to that change. And then give your body enough time to assess whether you feel better or whether you feel like results have now started kicking in now that I have cut out dairy. And then I would add some dairy back in and then give yourself some time to readjust to that and oh shit, I've got a stomach again, oh shit, like I've put, you know, uh, my results slowed down, and then that's a pretty good indicator that dairy is affecting you negatively. So that's really the only way you can test unless you go get some allergy tests or sensitivity tests or whatever people go get that gives them this big giant chart and costs a whole bunch of money. And the only bad thing about those tests is that a month later, literally, that whole entire test could read differently. So I've never gotten one of those tests that tells you what your food allergies are and stuff, unless one is like a big food allergy or sensitivity. I've never really gotten like that crazy about it. So I just, if, if I'm not feeling very good and there's something in my diet that I'm wondering if that's what's going on, I pull it, give it some time. If I feel great and I'm like, I guarantee you it's because I was eating this, then I just leave it out. Um, if I really want to keep testing it, I'll add it back in and see if I start feeling crummy again. That's it. Okay, so very long response to is dairy hindering your results? Probably not, but maybe. Sorry. <laughs>
Okay.